Don't ever say that again. So, hello everybody and welcome back to another vlog. Finally, a vlog. I've been gone for so long. It feels like it has literally been like a year since I've picked up a camera. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you will know that I've been struggling with my camera recently. I hate the quality of it. Ever since the Bramham vlog, it's been really, really bad. Uh, Ziggy, why are we trotting? Can we walk like civilized human beings? Thank you very much. The quality was just so bad. The audio quality was unbelievably bad. I was just so unhappy with it because like that vlog was like supposed to be a promotional vlog for Bremham and it was such a good day and I was so disappointed with all the footage. I have emptied my bank account <laughs> buying a new camera which is long overdue. Hopefully they are better quality for you guys. How does it feel to enter the HD world? Ziggy, please. Please don't leave me. Why don't you want to be in the vlog? You want to be in the vlog, Wig? <laughs> what a weirdo. Auntie, that's so lazy. Like, it's been a, like, an uncomfortable amount of time now. And I think this is his plan for the day. You're so lazy! <laughs> Get up! So yeah, I don't really know what this vlog is gonna be today. I don't really know what I'm gonna film. Um, this is the most unprepared vlog ever. This is basically just like an average normal day on the yard. Average and normal, that, that's the same thing, Kate. I'm making no sense today. <laughs> I think I'm riding Tilly, I'm lunching Nova later, and I'll be long raining Bobby in a little bit as well. I've got a lot of mucking out to do, so I don't know if this camera does time lapses. Does this camera do time lapses? Why am I asking you? <laughs> We're back on the old dingbat. Ready to go. We love you too. You're just a bit more annoying, aren't you? You're a bit more annoying and a bit more wriggly. He's very wriggly, but look at those big feet. You've got big feet. And you know what they say about bunnies with big feet? No, that's so inappropriate, Kate. Don't even, don't even go there. Please don't start to struggle or I'm gonna get scratched and I'll cry. Please, no, 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 Okay, so surprisingly, Olaf was quite well behaved there. Oh, I need to get their waters. Tilly was getting excited because I was going to collect Tilly then, but I need to get the bunny waters, and then I can collect Tilly. Tilly Fred! Hi, honey! Tilly! Hi, baby! Hi, oh, little Tilly Fred. Little Tilly Fred. Can I get a sexy eye shot? Well guys, I have now finished the stables. Here's some stables. Oh, is it gonna focus? There we go, there's Evie's bed. Then, Nero's bed. Whether you guys can, can actually see that. Um, then we have Fancy's bed. Fancy's on straw, so he has a fluffy bed. And then Ziggy has got hardly any shavings because I refuse to give him any more because it's costing me a fortune to shaving Ziggy out. And he just destroys them every single day without a doubt. So he ain't getting any more. 
Okay guys, so I've got my hat on and I'm now ready to go and have a little sit on Bobby and do a bit of work with Bobby. So Bobby is my new four year old. I say new, I've had him like a month and a bit now. He is a project pony that I have to back and bring on. Um, and then unfortunately he'll have to be sold, which is really sad because he is so, so cute. But I'm not keeping this one, I swear to God. <laughs> Me and Laura are gonna do some work with him now before Laura has to go. And yeah, that's pretty much what we're gonna do now. So I'm just finding him some tack and then I'll be heading over to his stable. So here is Bobby. Bobby's like, hi. <laughs> so we should do a Bobby tour, the Bobby tour. So he's all tacked up, ready to go and do some long raining, are you, mister? <laughs> uh, you're not having your head, no. <laughs> what are you doing? He's like, what is that? He's never seen a camera before. Have you? Have you ever seen a camera before? Oh, that's a cute picture of his eye. I've ridden Bobby guys and he was so so good he was unbelievable like we did not plan at all today on letting him like off the lead because we didn't know what he was gonna be like and um, we sort of planned we were like okay let's long rein him and then I'll you know if he's good then I'll get on and maybe we can do some like stop starts and stuff with him and get him used to like responding to me rather than the person leading him if that makes sense like but in still in a safe environment so we worked for a few minutes on getting like me to ask him to move and like laura wouldn't move until he'd moved and stuff as she was leading him um and things like that so he was working more independently and then we were like hang on a sec let's just see if we can unclip him and because he was so good we were like let's see if we can unclip him and like let him just have a little walk and do a few halts and stuff and he was amazing so in the end we did like a full couple of laps of trot either way and stuff and he was so good obviously he needs a lot of balance work and things doing and like he's not the finished product guys but we have backed him and ridden him away so uh obviously there's a lot more work to do i want to do a lot more long reining with him because even though he's really good at it i want to like long rein him out i want to long rein him like round the property i want him to be so good for whoever gets him i don't want anyone to get him and think like oh they haven't done a very good job with him like i want him to go to someone and they'll be like wow he's set up really well for me to start working him i basically want him to leave here in the position of like he knows all the basics and he's ready to sort of start learning more with somebody else it's a little bit later on now and the sunglasses Buses are out. <laughs> um, it is getting progressively windier now today and I know it's giving some stormy weather later so I'm gonna get Tilly out now and give her a nice bath and then I'm gonna switch Tilly and Bob for Harry and Madge and bring Harry and Madge in and put Tilly and Bob out. Here's my little Tilly. <laughs> Tilly, Tilly. Tilly, Tilly. <laughs> Tilly, Tilly. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, so she's not spotless, but she's a lot cleaner. Aren't you, honey? She's enjoying her hair. You can't even see her face. There she is. <laughs> Good girl, sweetie. Morning, guys, and welcome back to the vlog. Um, the same vlog as we started the other day. 
Well done, Kate. <laughs> and today I'm vlogging because we are going to Port Royal with two of the young horses that we have in, um, just to do a bit of training and stuff and let them sort of see an arena before they have to compete in one. I'm very excited and kind of like anxious to see how they're gonna be in the ring. Um, but hopefully they behave themselves and we don't have any major meltdowns. <laughs> so it's about 6.30 now and I'm heading out to put some of the horses outside and so my voice is a bit croaky, it's so early. Yeah, so I'm gonna put all the other horses out. So it's just those ones and I have Tilly to like spot clean because um, I'm sure she'll be disgusting. <laughs> and yeah, then we're gonna go. So let's go stick the horses out. So all of the horses are out in the field, apart from obviously the ones that are going. Oh, you can't see Tilly from here. <laughs> yeah, I've pretty much finished getting the lorry ready. And yeah, we're pretty much ready to go. Just gotta load up and then we can leave. back from Port Royal with Tilly and Nova and they were so so good they were both so much better than I ever thought they were gonna be like Tilly and Nova they both jumped around like a little course and stuff and like neither of them looked at any of the fillers and things they both jumped amazing they only did like a little course and of course they had like a few baby mistakes and things but particularly Tilly I was really impressed with like Nova I was really impressed with but like Nova's five so like she's uh and she's got a lot of like natural like raw talent has Nova so it's just about like shaping it now and things so she's coming on loads um but Tilly has just come on so much and she's so honest like she's just gone there today and she's hardly done any jumping at all I wasn't expecting much from her whatsoever like I honestly thought we'd just be going to like school her round like not jump the fences you know just do like a bit of flat work in the arena and she was just amazing and she took everything on. She didn't look at any of the fillers or anything. She was so calm with the whole environment and everything. And they were both amazing to like stand on the box as well because it was just me and Laura. We did try to get a third person because we thought we might have to get both horses off at the same time and then I'd be on, Laura would be doing the fences and there'd be no one to like hold the other horse, if that makes sense. Um, so we tried to find a third person but we couldn't find anyone in time and it was getting really stressful and hectic so we just went anyway and they just stood on the box amazing like on their own so we jumped Tilly first and we got Nova like Nova just stayed on the box and she didn't even cry like she didn't make any whimper or anything she was absolutely fine perfect and then Tilly we loaded back up after she jumped and she just waited there perfectly for Nova as well. I think she let out like two winnies to start with and then she was fine. So I am so, so happy with them all, um, as you can see from the videos. <laughs> uh, I have just done all the field waters. So all of that has been done, which has taken me ages because of the blooming geese. If you have geese, you all know they're an absolute pain in the butt. Like, honestly, they just destroy all of the field waters. They just like muck them all out and they're all like feathers in them and stuff. It's disgusting. So it's taken me like a solid hour to do 10 fields, field waters. But now I get to go in and get something to eat. And yeah, while I'm eating though, I want you guys to see a very special unboxing video I did the other day. So Aztec Diamond have just released their new collection and it is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so I want you guys to go and watch that now. So I'm gonna play that footage next, but beware, it looks like it's been shot on a potato because it was shot on my phone before I got this new vlogging camera and stuff. So good luck to you. <laughs> so basically this box arrived yesterday. This is from Aztec Diamond and I believe it is their brand new collection that's just come out. And there will be a link in the description as to where you can find all of the things. Um, from the new collection. I was supposed to be filming an unboxing video for this and I have not opened this box yet but it came in an Aztec diamond bag which I'm afraid I did tear off before I thought that I had to film it. Um, 
So I apologize for that, but I have not been in this box. I swear on my life, I have not been in this box. You're just gonna have to take my word for it, okay? I took the bag off and then I was like, oh no, I'm supposed to be unboxing it. And I knew that if I just put the bag back on, you guys would know that I'd just like opened it and then been like, oh look, I haven't opened it yet. And I don't lie to you guys. I'm too much of a mess for that. <laughs> so here we are. So I apologize for the lighting and things, but we're filming on my iPhone, guys. Yay! How things have gone downhill for us over here at Plot the Cob. <laughs> it's so nicely packaged. Oh, this is nice. This stuff. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I just smelled it. I like the smell of new things. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Look at that. So you've got a phone pocket in the back as well, which is really ideal because this is lightweight. So you'll be able to wear this in the summer and not roast to death, but you're still able to carry a phone on you. And all of this looks like it's breathable as well. This is gorgeous, but this is really like modern. I really like the style of this. It's so modernized. And um, yeah, look at that. That is gorgeous. I'm blending in with the sun. Hang on, do I move that way a bit? Can you see me better? Probably not, but there you go. <laughs> So the next thing we are seeing in here is a pair of leggings and these look gorgeous. So you've got a nice deep phone pocket on this side. I don't know whether you can see that, but again, you've got the lovely grips on the knees. They're all like breathable as well. So you've got the breathable parts down the sides and yeah, these are gorgeous. They've done a really nice job with these. And finally, in this box, which is very exciting for me, I am seeing a brand new show shirt, I think. Yes! Oh my gosh! That is beautiful! Wow! So this is Aztec Diamond's brand new show shirt, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. It does not do it justice on this iPhone at all. I hate filming on an iPhone. Absolutely perfect for competing in the summer months because you have got so much breathable material down the sides. So right down your side. Oh my God, it's breathable in the armpits as well. I've never had a top for competing in that, like a show shirt that is breathable in the armpits. Cause like obviously in summer you're gonna sweat a lot. Don't lie, we all do it. <laughs> breathable all the way down your side on both sides, which is absolutely perfect for the summer. Cause if you're competing in the summer and you sweat, then this is nice and breathable. So you're gonna stay nice and cool in this. I was just about to put the box and stuff away when I found these. So these are actually Aztec Diamond M&Ms, which look amazing. They look absolutely amazing. I've never seen anything like this before, but they are just incredible. I remember I first worked with Aztec Diamond in 2015, and it was just before I won my first Winter JA on Nero, and they provided me with um, loads of show gear and stuff for going to that show with Nero and I was wearing it all the day when I qualified for the Winter J final and yeah I really hope that this new show shirt brings me the same luck. <laughs> Thank you so much to Jordan and the whole team at Aztec Diamond for providing me with these lovely things and I will leave a link in the description below to this video of where you can go and check out Aztec Diamond's new collection and let me know what you think in the comments. Wait, pass, 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 pass. Guys, so last time I spoke to you, I was on the yard, but now, where are we, Sarah? Adventure golf. We are at Adventure Foot Golf. So we have to beat the goalie. So we start there, and we have to kick it past the goalie. It's over there. Oh my god, that's hilarious. The hole is down there. Come on, team! I mean, yours is essentially the same. <laughs> mine went first. Mine's leaving. Where is it going? Come back! Got this. Hole in two. Come on. Do you dare switch that other ball? No! 
Six and a half hours later. If I miss this, then it's not gonna be good. <laughs> Many months later. Are you ready? Did your knee just crack? Yeah. <laughs> Sarah, I'm like an old lady. You have to excuse me. The shirt is untucked. I mean business. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, no. 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 But this is what we have for part two. We have to go through the fork in the tree into the hole. Like, can you see? So it has to go up oh, through place. here. Has to go up through there into the hole. I told you this was my skill. So really? Yeah. Sarah, in the first hole, you ended up picking the ball up and putting it in the hole. Yeah, but only because it bounced over the hole. Uh-huh. So I might be able to get it over uh -huh. the Uh-huh. Okay. My okay. So, okay, Sarah cheating, take two. <laughs> pause of game. Okay, pause of game, okay. You still couldn't get <laughs> it. And then it touched the side. Stay The pond. So the ball has to go over there, under that red bar, there is a pond, and the ball's got to go through that. Are you prepared? Um, I'm prepared to fish it out of the pond. Yeah, you got this. <laughs> You're good. Oh dear. There you go, it has to remain now. You have to get the net of shame now. The net of shame. I always release my catches back into the wild. Thanks for that. Me and Patrick have been together for about five minutes now. Um, he's like, he's pretty calm, but like then he's like, he goes from like zero to a hundred really quick. So he's like calm right now. And then he's like, Patrick, Patrick, no, Patrick. We've talked about this. Patrick, Patrick. Okay. Okay. We're releasing Patrick back into the wild. Okay. No, Patrick. No, no. Patrick, calm down. Calm down, Patrick. Calm down. Okay everyone, stay calm, stay calm. Patrick is only a young crocodile, okay? So we're gonna release him back into the wild. Wildlife hour. So that is it for the vlog, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry if the quality isn't awesome in places. Um, I know the audio is a little bit funny in places. I must have put my hand over the microphone or something on the new camera. Um, there's nothing wrong with the new camera, it's just taking some getting used to, so please be patient. <laughs> Hopefully my future vlogs and stuff will be better quality. I am so glad to be back though, and I can't wait to share a lot more vlogs with you guys. So, as usual, if you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to leave a comment down below with what you thought to this vlog, and what you'd like to see in other vlogs and other videos. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And yeah, I will see you guys very soon with another video. Love you. Bye.